So here we are at the beautiful hollow by the Broad Bay. Uh, it's Laphroaig's open day. We've got uh, people coming from all over the world to uh, visit the Laphroaig distillery and we've got some special tours for the day. Uh, uh, myself along with John Campbell, distillery manager, we're going to take people up to the source, uh, the water source for Laphroaig, the Kilbride Dam. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the history of the island of Isla uh, from its uh, uh, 60 million years ago on upwards. Uh, the history of the families who ran the distillery here uh, and then from there we're going over to the uh, peat bogs to uh, cut some peat uh, and uh, give them a taste of the land itself that you find right in the heart of Laphroaig single malts and from there then we'll head back over to the uh, maltings and we'll get them to uh, toss a little bit of barley and make them earn their dram uh, and uh, give them the rest of the day to enjoy this beautiful location here on the island of Isla at Laphroaig distillery. A little hard to see, but straight off here, you're going to, you're going to have Ballycastle, uh, Ireland. Uh, and uh, on a clear day, if you get around the edge there, you may be able to see Donegal and the western part of Ireland. Um, the Mull of Kintyre, 15 miles away, not very far as the crow flies. Of course, sea, sea travel is a little bit harder than that. You know, when the, when the boys were making it up in the hills, up uh, you know, uh, uh, this is... This is what they were drinking. This is where it was coming off the stills. This is what it was. Um, and uh, so this is, uh, this is at 63%. This is a uh, new, you know, brand new, new make Laphroaig. Uh, this is it right from the still. Um, and then we'll taste something after that. But uh, I've got some local water for you to taste, for, to, add to add to the whiskey as well. So if you'd like to have a taste of that. But on a on a day like today, this is this is what you need. <laughs> the age, you know, the age, the age whiskey for when you're back inside, but uh, <laughs> when you you're out out here in the wind. Can I have some water, please? Yes, most certainly. No. You're certainly getting the influence of the barrel. You know, today's today's tour will start with water, peat, barley. You know, what else do you really need? Uh, well, you do need a couple of things. You need good copper, obviously, and you need good wood. Uh, you know, so I think this is a great example of uh, going from the new, the new make spirit, and now you're getting the influence of the wood. It, the, the, it's a, it's a big factor, um, but a, a beautiful, the 15 year old, lovely, lovely spirit, uh, bottled at 43%. All right, and we're going to move on back to the distillery now to show you a little bit of the, the malting. So we've gone from the, the water to the peat, now back to the barley.